added this insight post game. Hey, Kevin, I know they have two great scores, but on, on the defensive side of the ball, you know, what were they doing that, that caused issues that allowed them to hang around in the game and ultimately steal it? Uh, they shot 20 more shots than us. Uh, they had 25 points off our turnovers. <clears throat> and they made timely shots, you know. You got to give them credit. They played extremely desperate all night, you know, physical, trying to get in the passing lane, just trying to muck the game up. They needed a win. They haven't won in a while, so you got to give them credit. And um, um, it's a tough loss for us. What's the key to bouncing back after a, you know a game like this? We were just talking to Joe, and he was talking about his mistake, you know, down the stretch. You've been a part of a lot of you know wild games. What's the key to blocking this one out and moving on? Close of it, and you know, enjoy your off day tomorrow. Um, take your mind off the game and get ready for the next one. Um, we all know what went wrong, and we know how we could have won this basketball game. And he's one of the ones you just got to get rid of. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kevin, when you look at the roster since the trade, you lost a, a lot of uh, size and defensive prowess in that. Uh, is that something that has to be addressed down the line? Or, you know, Steve has also said the offense is so good, it's going to make up for the defense some nights. And maybe it didn't happen tonight, but, you know, the offense is – awesome right now and so can that make up for the defense or the lack of size uh, i think defensively we're going to start to figure it out i mean they, they made shots tonight um you know they got to the paint and um we uh for for the most part i just think that um you know we made them shoot over top of us sometimes they made some tough ones too but um you know we'll i think we'll continue to keep getting better man i mean it's a tough one you gave up 149 points, you know, 108 shots for them. You know, it's not looking great for us defensively, you know, giving up that many points. But I got faith in our team and our guys, and, you know, we're going to start to put it together on both sides of the ball and, uh, you know, continue to keep going, man. That's all we can do. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kevin. Uh, just so I understand, you said, you know, it's obvious you guys know why you lost, you know, what you need to do to fix this. Um, and then you said it's just one-on-ones. Uh, I mean, is that basically you're saying just guarding your man individually, staying in front of your man? Or I just wanted to make sure I understood what you meant by it. I said one-on-ones? Maybe, maybe, my, maybe, my, maybe I misheard you. That's what I'm asking. I want to make sure. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll just, get, just be better. That's it. I mean, we just, we'll be better on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, we can, you know, we can go through the film. Uh, but... Uh, we'll, we just got to be better, you know. It's, we, one, it starts with one-on-one -on -one defense. I mean, like you said, it's, you know, it's you versus your man. So, you know, we look at it with that, and then we re we'll get help if we need it on the back end. You know, that's the type of defense that uh, that's a good start for your defense. Is just thinking about it from a one-on-one -on -one perspective, and uh, but we'll be better at it. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Kevin, I, I know all around defense is something we continue to talk about, but is there something specifically about your defensive down, your defensive efforts down the stretch that you think needs to change versus just talking about overall macro defense in the game? Yeah, I mean, like, Russ and Bill came down and hit two threes on us, you know, tough threes. That that one that Bill shot that deep three. Kaji Moore got a three late. I mean, for the most part, I think that when we need a stop, we'll get it. Uh, but we turned the ball over there late, and they got a wide open look. Uh, that's just the name of the game all game, you know, giving them easy shots at the basket from just, you know, turnovers or offensive rebounds, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kevin, can you break down, I guess, A, what was supposed to happen uh, on that inbounds pass? It like it was looking like the ball was going to go to you, ends up going to TLC anyway. Uh, B, can you break down what the defense did to kind of get the ball not going to you? And do you think you would have been comfortable shooting over a double team in that situation anyway? Yeah, I mean, if Russ, I mean, if, uh, you know, Russ was sitting on the top side and if, and if Kyrie lobbed that up, then Bradley Bill was just sitting there waiting on it. And then they had another guy sitting in the paint. So, I mean, we got a wide open layup late in the game because <laughs> our everybody was so focused on me right there at the box. Coach drew up a good play, and we was able to get somebody creeping for a layup. We just didn't finish it. Um, but, yeah, the ball was supposed to come to me for sure. Um, but you see how they reacted, and we was able to get something good. We just didn't finish. 
Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, you guys built that 18-point lead up in the first quarter, and then by the end of it, they, they had chipped away at it almost completely. Was, was there something specifically you guys got away from that, that led them to do that, or was it a domino effect? Man, that bench came in and made shots for him. More, Mo Wagner was 7 for 8 from the field. Ed Smith was 6 for 9. Then, you know, you got Bertans. He, he didn't shoot shots well tonight, but he still gave him points off the bench. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, you know, I think when that second unit came in, they gave him an extra spark, you know. But we had the game in control, I felt, the whole night and to the end.